Well, Election Day and PEI just five days away, so the party leaders are gearing up for the final push to the polls. And for the first time, it is a four-party contest on the island. And as CTV's Dan Vio shows us, while it's virtually certain either the Liberals or the Conservatives will form the next government, the NDP and Green Party leaders are running strong campaigns. Sharon Labchuk, the leader of the Green Party. Hi. Prince Edward Island Green you? Party leader Sharon Labchuk is a veteran environmental activist, but she's a political rookie or perhaps more accurately, a political rebel with the environment as her cause. Yeah, we never ever want to be the green conscience of an old line gray political party. We are elected in many countries around the world. We are forming coalition governments in many countries of the world. And we are a serious political party. Lapchuk, joined today by federal Green Party leader Elizabeth May, has been included in several leaders' debates during the campaign, including this one today. It's a first for the Green Party in our region. NDP leader Dean Constable is also new to politics, but the stage manager for Anne of Green Gables at the Charlottetown Festival says his issues aren't frivolous, like the Liberals and Tories. They spent a, a week talking about canned pop and, a, and, and weeks talking about Sunday shopping. Now, uh, there's, uh, there's both sides to that debate, but is it really important when people are going without uh, doctors, when people uh, can't get their test results from the hospital? Liberal leader Robert Giz is the son of the late former Premier Joe Giz, whose Liberals dominated the island legislature in the late 1980s. A new poll last weekend showed the Liberals leading the Tories by seven points, although Giz trailed Premier Pat Binns in personal popularity. Giz says Tory campaign promises to build a school and convention center without input from the school board and tourism industry are examples of the attitude he wants to end. Sometimes if you're in power too long you seem to think you know everything. Um, you know, if the Conservatives do win this election, that'll be 15 years in power for one person. Um, you know, I don't believe that uh, uh, any one person should be in power for that long. But Binns says he's confident in the integrity of his campaign. I won't make promises unless I know the cost. And on Monday, uh, we're asking people to make the judgment, uh, not the polls, not the media. Binns says he's hoping voters will realize the island economy is healthier than it's ever been. And in the end, that will see his party re-elected. But as he says, the voters will decide next Monday. Dan Vio, CTV News, Charlottetown.